Leonor Freitas is the fourth generation of Portuguese women to run her family's wine business. She renamed the company after her mother, and Casa Ermelinda Freitas produces seven million litres of red, white, sparkling and dessert wine a year. The company's wine expert, Jaime Candera, says the secret of their award-winning wines is in the soil of their vineyards, outside Lisbon in southern Portugal. Our secret is the the, we are close to the sea, like 10, 15 miles at the most. And on the summer, we have hot summers in the south of Portugal. We have the cool breeze from the sea, which refresh the vineyards. And this brings smoothness and elegance to the wines. The wines are made from Portuguese and international grapes. The company sells about 60% of its wine at home, exporting the remaining 40%. Casa Ermelinda Freitas is one success story in the Eurozone economy, currently struggling with austerity measures designed to cut its budget deficit. As it reduces pensions and cuts state spending, Portugal's also being priced out of the bond markets by nervous investors, where it has to pay over 7% to borrow money. Analysts say these borrowing costs are unsustainable and expect Lisbon to have to seek a bailout from the EU. Casa Ermelinda Freitas' business is still growing in spite of the economic crisis in Portugal. But the situation means that they're looking at foreign markets to export to and also making more competitively priced wines to sell in the Portuguese domestic market. Leonor says former Portuguese colonies are a big market for them. We are poised for growth in Portugal and our big bets are on Brazil and China and Africa too. Wherever we can, we never let an opportunity pass us to sell to those countries. Here in Portugal, we have adapted our products to suit consumers and changing tastes, so we don't lose market share. Leonor's looking at new ways to grow the company, but when she hands the firm over to the fifth generation of Freitas women. Having finished her studies, Leonor's daughter Joanna is now working for the business and hopes to run it one day. Joanna Partridge, Reuters.